On uh, July 26, 2020, shortly before 2 a.m., Hamilton Police responded to 3063 Binbrook Road in Binbrook for reports of a disturbance. And upon arrival, police located 20-year-old Brock Beck suffering from stab wounds. Uh, Brock was transported to the hospital where he died as a result of his injuries. A 16-year-old youth at that time was also injured in the attack, but he was treated at hospital and he was released. Hamilton Police Homicide Detectives from the Major Crime Unit have been actively investigating Brock's murder um, since July. And today I'm announcing uh, that the suspects responsible for Brock's murder have been identified and have been charged with the second degree murder of Brock Beck. And also uh, an additional charge of assault causing bodily harm in relation to the assault on the, the youth. These accused will appear later today at the Johnson Pinkett Courthouse Charged with second degree murder of the following. Kamtai Kath, he's 18 years old, of Stony Creek. Peter Kunich, 19 years old, of Stony Creek. Thomas Vasquez, 22 years old, of Hamilton. Further charged with uh, assault causing bodily harm is Kamtai Kath and Peter Kunich. These accused were located and arrested throughout the day yesterday in a coordinated effort by various units within this police service. These arrests were made in both the City of Hamilton and the City of Brantford. And these uh, arrests were made without incident. Major crime detectives continue to investigate Brock's murder and are seeking uh, a fourth male suspect. And I should clarify that uh, I've just received information uh, uh, just prior to this uh, conference that this fourth male uh, has been arrested and is being transported to Central Station as we speak. This uh, has been a challenging police investigation as there was no, con uh, there was no connection uh, between the suspects and Brock uh, or the other youth involved. So cooperation from the community has allowed us to move forward and get to where we are today. And for that, we are very grateful. We are thankful to everyone who called in, provided video or information to us.